Welcome to part one of the Crusades. If we're going to talk about the Crusades, we need to have a definition of the Crusades. So what was or are the Crusades? The Crusades, as properly understood, is a series of eight official military expeditions undertaken by the Christians of the West between the years 1096 and 1270 in order to aid the Christians of the East. Islam found itself a rather divided people by the 11th century, still fighting amongst themselves. Also, towards the end of the 11th century, the Byzantine Emperor Alexius I found Muslims knocking on the gates of Constantinople after the Muslims had defeated the Byzantine army. So Alexius sends out an SOS to Urban II, who was the current pope at the time, seeking help for his empire. Pope Urban II sees this as an opportunity to heal the schism that had happened between the Eastern and Western churches just centuries prior and to reunite the church under the see of St. Peter, and also to help save the Christians in the East. Now, there was a secondary task attached with this as well, and the secondary task was to reclaim what was taken from the Christians by the Muslims. That is, an act of restoration, which would be restoring the Holy Land to Christian hands. Urban II envisioned the crusade to be a noble cause with noble knights fighting in service to the church and God. However, the fervor of the preaching for the first crusade was so great, combined with the promise of martyrdom and money, it attracted not only the noble soldiers, but also the peasants, murderers, brigadines, and generally the rotten evil people in society. The fervor for the Crusades was so great, for instance, between the Fourth and Fifth Crusade, it inspired a group of over 30,000 children, commonly known as the Children's Crusade, to make their own way to the Holy Land, or at least attempt to make their own way to the Holy Land. Those that actually make it down there are quickly defeated, and if they're not killed, then they were sold into slavery rather quickly. But back to the First Crusade. With the peasant confusion surrounding exactly what they were going to do in the Crusades, combined with the typical attitude of the brigadines and the generally rotten dregs of society that went along with the soldiers, this put a dark mark on what was intended to be a noble endeavor of assistance to Christian brothers in the East. So what happens is that those who join the Crusades for fame and fortune wind up branching off from the main Crusader armies and attacking Jewish communities along the Rhine River, and they did this under the guise or under the, the presumption that Jews were as much of an enemy to Christianity as Islam was towards Christianity. Therefore, this was seen as a righteous act to a couple of these splinter groups. Stay tuned for part two of the Crusades, where we'll be discussing, is this considered an act of aggression, or was this an act of defense? Which was it?